JPALS is our Joint Precision Approach and Landing System. Uh, we just went through what's called Milestone C with the, uh, uh, with in, the in the U.S. Uh, so this is for 23 systems. It'll be uh, carrier based. Uh, that's our that's our really our launch uh, system. Uh, we're also working an expeditionary version of uh, JPALS. Uh, this would be allow a, a setup in a very austere uh, environment. Uh, be able to land F-35, C-130s, rotary aircraft, that's the, that's the concept. You'd be able to set this up within 90 minutes and then be able to land uh, those aircraft at any of uh, 50 uh, touch points within 20 nautical miles. And what's, what's another key thing about it is the approach that those aircraft can take to those touch points can be multi-segment. It can be a curved approach, straight approach. All of that, which you know, compared to the way things are today, you know, a single system that can take up to weeks to do, uh, to set up for a single runway. Now you've got a system that can be uh, uh, can be uh, deployed very quickly and cover 20 nautical miles. You know, 50 aircraft. And it's GPS based, both on ground and in the aircraft. Uh, yes. And, it, and how does that work for the pilot? Uh, for the pilot, it's, uh, it's, it's like his normal uh, instrumented uh, landing system. He's flying in different symbology, but he flies uh, that's, you know, the slope right down to you know, uh, uh, what's coming from the system. So what the aircraft needs is uh, a small update on the radios, is it? There's really two things on the, on the aircraft side. Uh, one is the, the radio itself is set up for the JPALS waveform. And then there's computing power uh, on the aircraft to do the precision landing calculations. But on the carriers, do, are pilots using JPALs even in clear weather to do carrier landings? Yes, they are. Yeah, I mean, you get, matter of fact, uh, it's, a, it's about a 20 centimeter spot that it's uh, designed to hit. And they need to move it every now and then because they start to wear out a part of the deck. It's that, you know, it's that precise. And that's day and night? Day and night up to Sea State 5. So you can imagine coming into a, a, an aircraft carrier in Sea State 5 and still be able to stick that landing within 20 centimeters every time. And it's, it's quite, for the expeditionary force, it's quite a small package that um, you put on the ground? Yes. I mean, it can uh, be transported to C-130, could be hung under a helicopter. Uh, it really consists of a set of... Form factor could be in different, our prototype is in five transit cases that are only like two by two by two. Four uh, GPS antennas uh, on, uh, on stands, only maybe about that, that large. And then the data link antenna, that's the entire system. And the future? The future, what's, what's next for JPALS? Oh, well, it's, it's to take, follow the F-35 around the world, uh, go to multiple services, and the expeditionary version. Brilliant, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.